Blue Table Painting as a studio is awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I accidentally pressed the stop button. So anyway, we're usually working on about 50 projects, right? And But you know what? I went back and looked at all the all the records for the studio, and we were doing about, about that much uh, in early 2008 when it was Badger Hole 1.0. So, uh, so it's, ah, it's good times. It's really good times. All right. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just get the, get the camera on the tripod here. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to talk for a while. Why not? And an update. It really is. It's a studio update. Wait a minute. Is this, there it is. This is like the worst. Cause you know, there's so many places they got like, they got like green screens and, um, I can do this. I've done this like so many times. There we go. They got like green screens and it's like all like high quality production. And I'm like, hmm, what can I do to make myself stand out in the market? Ha <laughs> ha, I know. I can have low production and it can be terrible. Ah, uh, you hear, you'll hear like this little, hold on. Ah. There you go. Got my uh, my son Jonah. He's uh, going through the bits. Hey, peek in and say hi. Okay. All right. Here he comes. This is really happening. Hey. Oh yeah, he did. Ah! All right, get out of here. <laughs> I just I shut the I shut the door on him. All right. So I have, as you guys know, I have a three and a half year old daughter. I am now married to the mother. And um, <clears throat> I avoid using the word trapped because I definitely don't feel that way. And, and by, by the way, if you're like, wait, does, does he really? No, I'm being totally serious right now. So anyway, um, but the little, little Audrey has been sicky this week. She's been like really sick, but she's got like such a good attitude about life. She just sort of plows through it, you know, and she just... Um, I don't know. She's having, she's having a good time, but it has not been easy on us. So, uh, anyway, uh, on Saturday, my uh, uh, Luli and I were going out to coffee in a rare moment where we got to be on our own, and uh, smoke starts coming out from under the hood of our car. That's not a good sign. I pull over immediately. There's, uh, turns out, there's uh, well, we don't know what's wrong. It's, it's obviously the radiator. So we go, the radiator fluid is low. There's fluid everywhere inside the car. And so I'm like, all right, so we gimp it back home. And uh, so that's Saturday, but it's at, so I call the service department because uh, the car is under warranty. We have an extended warranty. We're really into warranties, by the way. Love those. Anyway, so... We uh, gimp at home, but the service department's closed already on Saturday. And so Sunday is like the worst snowstorm in Utah history. No, it just, uh, Sunday night, it's Monday, right? Yeah, Sunday night, the blizzard started. I mean, it's not as bad as other places. It put down maybe eight inches, eight, maybe ten and, um, but it was, it was not great traffic. Not a great time to need a tow truck to get somewhere. So the flatbed tow truck shows up. They're three hours late, which is fine. I've, you know, I've cleared the day for it. And uh, I take it up there and they fix everything. And uh, so, I'm but I'm talking to the tow truck driver, right? And He's like, yeah, there's like 500 tow trucks in the Salt Lake area. And I'm just like, wow, that's so many. I didn't think, I would have guessed maybe 40 tops. Oh, no, 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 no. Those guys are always towing cars everywhere. And uh, apparently they're just, they're just busy all the time. So there you go. But let, let me tell you, that is some pretty, that is some pretty uh, brutal work right there. All right. Well, guys, um, that's it, I think. Yeah, you know, there's just not much to say when things are running smoothly. Uh, I could stand to add a couple projects. That would be really nice. I'm ready for that. I'm always fielding inquiries. What did I want to say? Oh, yeah. Here's the big deal. Hold on. 
Um, oh, by the way, we're watching a ton of stand-up around here. We have it, like, going all the time. And, all right, okay, so I had a program not too long ago where um, I would get locals to come in, use my terrain, possibly my armies, and make battle reports. Because I'm obviously not doing them anymore. And not because I don't love gaming, but, uh, you know, the only gaming I'm doing really is agnostic systems, like basically role-playing stuff. And I usually like to play music during our sessions, and so we end up not recording them. And then I'm just like, just like, ah, is our stuff really that good? You know? So anyway, I'm looking for a couple of people by remote. Could, you could be anywhere in the world to do battle reports. Uh, this pays. It doesn't pay very much, but you do get money for doing a battle report. Uh, you would need, obviously, to be personable. You would need to do them for Blue Table Painting. So you would be part of Blue Table Painting uh, in, like, in spirit. And you would need to do uh, have uh, good terrain, painted terrain, painted armies. And well, I would love it if I found a client who had armies painted by us and who was a fan and would do battle reports. I would accept battle reports for other systems like Necromunda or Kill Team, for example. Uh, but again, and I have this all written up. I'll give you, if you just contact me, I'll give you the link to this little blog page that I made that explains how it all works. And so, yeah, that would be, that would be really cool. You know, I'm going to make a separate video about just this. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, so that's my ramble, guys. Um, yeah, let me see. Not much. All my artists are on track. I'm constantly, like, polishing my current crew. I'm adding people as needed. And it's, uh, it's, really, it's really good. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, while I'm rambling. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been on, like, a quest. Are you still there? Oh, no, he went up. Uh, I've been on like a quest of self-enlightenment, you know, and I realize, I'm, so I'm like, okay, I'm operating under the theory that things, my own view sort of projects out on my surroundings, and it does that either as just my perception of things, uh, or what I really believe is that my own uh, vibration or whatever you want to call it actually creates the things around me just like light coming through a uh, film creates a projection on the screen and in this case the film is me and the film is sentient and can pick the things that it thinks about so anyway what I've realized like very recently is that a bit something kind of going on so constantly in my vibration is panic I always have like this low level of panic. I call it run, rabbit, run. Like I have this feeling like, it's like oh God, I better get going or something bad is going to happen. And um, so I'm like, okay. And, but I'm getting very panicky situations, you know. And it's always been that way. I get on camera, I'm happy, because that's, that's who I am. And I'm generally a very happy person. And I've certainly changed up my own mental state in the last eight years since 2012. Wow, 2012 seems like not that long ago. Um, so anyway, since 2012, and uh, my life definitely has gotten better. It's definitely changed. The scenery is completely different now than eight years ago. Uh, you know, Mormon in a small town, and that, was, that had its own amazing beauty, which I appreciated. And now I'm in Salt Lake, which is somewhere I really wanted to be. Uh, I'm with somebody new. Being with Luli is amazing. She is really an outstanding person. I can't say enough good things about her. She is just, just has integrity. And she, um, she's, I, I don't want to say the word quiet, but she's, she's very reserved. Very reserved and organized. And, uh, you know, just what this old war horse needs. And it's, uh, it's really good. 
So anyway, so I've been working on really getting in there and getting sort and replacing that sort of low-level panic feeling with relaxation and just being just being okay with how things are and not not worrying so much and um, I'm trying to be quieter when I when I drink. Sorry guys. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so that's the ramble. I am going to do a separate video for the battle report thing. And, um, yeah, that, uh, that, sounds, that sounds really good. Well, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and don't hesitate to contact me with inquiries. Obviously, we always have great stuff going on. My, art, my crew of artists is just so amazing right now, and amazing in every single way, not just the skill level but also them as professionals and humans. It's just, it's really wonderful. All right, off I go. Bye.